Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Solo A Star Wars Story toys. Look at this. This is a new playset. This is... And I said playset. This doesn't happen very often. I think the last playset we got was the uh, big First Order BB-8 transforming playset. So Hasbro's back making playsets. Uh, so I mean, it's for Solo. It's the Vandor 1 Heist playset. Now, this is kind of... There's some people who are like adamantly against this thing. They do not like this fact that this exists because it's expensive cardboard. I'm going to tell you right now, it is expensive and it's just cardboard. I mean, it's not just cardboard. There's some plastic, but for the most part, this is $45 for cardboard and a couple bits of plastic. But my thinking is, I want, either way, I'm going to buy it because I want to review it for you guys so you guys know if it's worth your while, uh, if it's hard to put together, if it looks cool. I want to find this stuff out because I want to share it with you guys. But, at the same time, the fact that Hasbro is even making playsets is such a huge good thing. Like, I miss playsets. You can see it by my background. I have my Jurassic Park playset, my Star Wars playsets. There's the old Death Star playset up there. I got Endor, Death Star. I love playsets. When toy companies give you environments to put your toys in and display them, it's just, it's the best part about having toys and all that stuff, all the collectibles. So when I see a playset, even if it is cardboard, I'm going to support it either way because I want more playsets. So, before we get into anything else, let's take a look at the outside of this box. Okay, so in our top corner we have our Star Wars logo. I like that the artwork on the box is somewhat kind of accurate because you can see that it's cardboard. You can see that it's not like over the top. I don't know that this guy's going to be included in the thing, but I'm pretty sure the backgrounds will have some of this stuff. May not have Chewie, may not have that Han Solo figure, but I believe that guy's really printed on there. This kind of juts out and is plastic by the looks of it. Oh, hey, got interrupted by a force link, so you know it's a real video. Uh, Vandor 1 Heist, there it is in French, probably Portuguese and Italian maybe. It says cardstock playset. It's not cardboard, it is cardstock. Get it right. So there it is, two sides to play with, which I like. Comes with an exclusive Chewbacca figure. I just knocked him over, so you know it's official. There we go, Disney Hasbro. Now, this is important. This is a sticker put on here. It's a sticker. It says, only at Target. Ooh, I wonder if this guy's printed on here. The guy falling. That'd be interesting. There's Enfys Nest, which I busted out my Enfys Nest just so we can play along. Now, it is an interesting choice, this set of Vandor, which I did like. But if you think about it, there's only one, two, three, 3.75 inch characters that they've released that can actually fit from this scene. There's no Beckett. There's no, you know, there's, there's a lot missing here that maybe we could have gotten into. But let's start up here at the top left. Vandor 1 Heist. This is a Force Link 2.0 playset, meaning you can use that bracelet on certain parts and it will work. Um, it says there are foot pegs for figure displays. Conveyx tracks, nice. Two areas to play with. There we go, oh, I don't see the guy falling and I don't see Han Solo, so those are not printed on there. But it does have like plastic pieces, so what does it say here? Sliding gate, very nice. Plastic accessory. So it is, some of it is plastic. Some of it is just cardboard, but there's definitely some that is plastic. Oh, look, it looks like zero to three sad babies approve of the fact that Hasbro is making playsets again. All right, guys, I've got my blade of exact zero. I'm going to pop this thing open, break the tape. I always like to open my things cleanly and neatly. Oh, my goodness, that is a lot of cardboard. Card stock. Sorry, my bad. Card stock. Oh, goodness. Okay, so box is empty. Everything is contained right in here. Oh, oh, that's bigger than I expected it would be. That's kind of nice. So I'm going to put this thing together. I don't know that I'm going to show it to you on camera unless it's really... I like the way this thing slides, the little mechanism. That's We're off to a good start. It's, it's solid. That's what I want. The thing I'm worried about with it being cardstock is that it's going to be super flimsy and not stand up very well. And that's that's gonna be rough. That's gonna really really influence the basis of like my full review on this thing. Um, also, how easy it is to put together, because it does say on the front "adult assembly required," but no tools required. So it's like okay, so you, you think it might be a little too much for kids, but at the same time, there's no actual tools required. So how bad can it really be? So I'm gonna put this thing together. Oh my, those are some instructions right there. Those are some instructions. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Let's set it up. I'll be right back and I'll let you know how easy or frustrating this whole process is and was. 
there's a, there's a lot of cardboard back here. There's a lot. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. It took me about 25, maybe 30 minutes to get this thing all set up. As far as the construction of this thing goes, there are about three or four large sheets of cardstock. There's a good amount of bending and folding pieces in. And I'll say the instructions were decent, but there were some points in putting it together where I was a little confused. Um, there's this part that's a transition between the two where one side sticks out and the other side sticks out and attaches with stairs. Either way, you're supposed to attach some pieces it tells you to do early on. And you're supposed to sandwich it with pieces like four steps later. Otherwise, they don't stay. So there's, there's some weird things where, like, there's a hole. Oh, got interrupted. There you go. But there's, like, a hole you're supposed to put a piece there, but it doesn't stay until you put the other side piece, and they sandwich in, and then they kind of snug in together. And so there's a couple instances like that that were a little difficult. Um, this little piece, there's a lot of cardboard over here to make the uh, convey X train. That, I was a little worried I was going to ruin something, but I didn't. So when they say adult, like, uh, what does it say? There's literally says something about adults on here. Oh, it says adult assembly required. They're not kidding. They are not kidding. I wouldn't, for 45 bucks, I wouldn't put this in my kid's hands. I wouldn't say, kid, go put it together yourself. I'd be like, you know what? Give dad 30 minutes. I'm going to take my time here. So if you're giving this to someone as a birthday present or a Christmas present or whatever, just remember, warn the kid, hey, you're going to have to be patient when it comes to playing with this thing. It's not like a normal... Play set, and I guess most of them aren't easy. Just pop open, you play with it. There's always stickers. There's always some kind of assembly. But this one was a little bit more in depth. The uh, actual cardstock itself is really sturdy. Like I said, the part for the conveyance trains was a little flimsier, a little thinner paper. But the way it worked and the way it folded together was pretty simple. And there are some really neat play features that I like on here. Overall, is it worth 45 bucks? I'd say 30. I would say if you can get this thing for 30, maybe clearance, or if they drop the price because no one wants to spend 45 on it, I'd say 30 is fair. Totally fair. It's a really cool looking piece. There's a lot of neat artwork, cool little play features, but 45 bucks to me, in my opinion, is a little steep. Now, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. You should know why I said that. So let's get some close ups. I want to show you some of the different play features that they've added on here. Okay, so first off, you can see there's a lot going on here. Look at this. There's the gate that moves. Oh, maybe, maybe not. There we go. The gate does move one way if I ever figure out which one it is. It slides open fairly easily once you can figure out which side it is. There's a lot of neat stuff here. I like the way it connects in there. Neat little scenes. You can do a lot here. Now, one of my favorite parts of this whole playset is these oh, rotating, these little pegs. You attach these pegs on the train like that, and you can do this anti-gravity kind of stuff with your troopers, which is very much like in the movie, and I think it looks really cool. It's a neat effect. There's the Chewbacca that came with the say. He is an exclusive. He has the goggles, so he is an exclusive, and we'll listen to his Force Link stuff in just a minute. Uh, but I just kind of set up a little fantasy scene here on the Conveyx train. I think it looks cool. There's Enfys down at the bottom, but there's a lot of neat little details and features printed on here that I think are really cool. So I put, uh, there's Han Solo. He's about to shoot a trooper in the back, but this guy's not having it. He's going after Solo himself. It's really neat. So this is plastic. This is paper that you have to fold around the plastic. Again, that got a little confusing at first, uh, but a lot of stuff you push in and then slide. So this you would slide back and then pull out if you wanted to disassemble it. Um, I do like these pieces, these little anti-grav pieces. I want to get more of these troopers now, if only I could find them. Uh, but just to build out this playset a little bit more and make it look cool. Enfys Nest looks really good down there. But notice we've got the purple going on here. We've got our snowy scene going on right here, right? Snowy scene, a little double-sided snowy scene action. And that looks really cool. And then over on this side, there's even more. So there's like a huge, huge area of play here. Oh, and that, I think that makes it official. I think Chewbacca sliding down the stairs, falling over, makes this an official vid. Area of play here, oh, and play here, oh. Now, it also came with a couple of these things. These are just little platforms. So if you have any figures that don't sit or stand well, you can use those. Uh, notice there's some artwork, some guys back there. I put some of the ones from uh, Kessel and, you know, just kind of filled out the playset a little bit just to make it look cooler. 
But so at its tallest, one thing I should point out, it's 17 inches from here to the bottom. And at its widest from that corner all the way over to that back corner there, it's about 27 inches, so just a little bit over two feet. So again, some of the neat little play features, there's these like stairs that you can have people hiding out under. I like that idea a lot. You can even lift the stairs if you really want to. Kind of, you can see how they kind of fold it together as one piece right there at one point. But the way they structure it, where this is flat, this goes down, then it bends again. There's a lot of neat, interesting bends. This little piece right here is the one I was talking about that needs to be sandwiched in. It asks you to put that in early and it just keeps falling out. But when you attach the one, let me see if I can swivel it around without knocking everybody over. When you attach the piece from this side, you find that they're supposed to kind of hug each other and they sandwich in right there because the hole's big enough for both slats. So just a little confusing part right there in case you're gonna be putting this together yourself. Uh, that's the only part that gave me real trouble. But guys, I love this thing. This thing is really, really cool. I'm glad there's play sets again. Now, the little swivelly ones that I showed you where the guys do the anti-gravity stuff on the conveyor train, the bottom one for me keeps falling out of the peg that you put it in. So it's supposed to, it, it works multifunction. It actually keeps the cardboard together to the plastic when you put those on there, but you can also, you know, put characters on there. It looks like they're doing anti-gravity stuff like they did in the film. So it's kind of a neat feature, but if it keeps falling out, that's not a good thing, especially for 45 bucks. Now, before I end the video, I do want to get you a little bit. The sounds are super basic, so it's going to be really quick, but I want to at least let you listen to the force link. So this is what the train sounds like. That's it. So, I mean, it does work, right? Oh, kinda. Go back. And that's that. Now, we can also do the uh, Chewbacca. It sounds like Chewbacca, right? Let's listen to his blaster sounds. Sounds pretty basic. I mean, it's very much just Chewbacca. I don't know if I can unlock anything super fancy. Let's compare that to the other Chewbacca. Is there a big difference? Okay, though, that's like the same Wookiee roar I just heard. That's a little disappointing if they're the same sound. Guys, maybe you could hear it a little better than I could because I'm in the middle of a video here, but listen to that again and tell me, was there any difference? Did you guys notice any difference in the Force Link sounds? I feel like this exclusive new one has the exact same sounds as the other. And that's a little disappointing because with the Force Link 2.0, I guess they're both 2.0, but so far all the reissues of figures have had different noises. So to hear the same thing from Chewie is just a little like, eh, really? You guys could have put a little bit more effort than that. So again, weigh that into your decision as to whether you like this. As far as I go, it's gonna get a thumbs up. It's not gonna get like a thumbs way up. I wouldn't say, yes, this is for everybody. It's cool if you have room for a big playset. In fact, I need to find room for it. I don't even know where the heck I'm gonna be able to put this thing, probably up on top of my desk on the other side where it won't be seen very often, which is kind of sad, but I'm gonna let my kids play with it. We're gonna kind of see what they think. Overall, I like it. I think it's cool. I can't wait for the Kessel playset because there's another one coming out, another Kessel playset. So I'll be right up there to review it for you guys to share you the good, the bad, and all that other stuff. So if you haven't already done so, take a second, rate the video. If you think this is cool, thumb up the video. If you don't like it, you think cardboard, garbage, way too much, thumb it down. Thumb down the video. I use the little thumbs up and thumbs down as a rating system so we can help other people who look at these reviews figure out is it worth getting? Is it not worth getting? But the real key, aside from thumbing up and thumbing down, is to leave your feedback down below. Tell me why. I want to know why you thumbed it up. I want to know why you thumbed it down, especially if you thumbed it down. The reasons for not are, I think, really important. So when you guys take the time to do that and tell me what you don't like about something, I really appreciate it. So again, it's always okay to thumbs down my vids, but I just want to know why. That's all. I just want to know why. Now, if you haven't already done so, if this is your first Dano channel video, thank you for watching to this point. I really appreciate it. I try to put Amazon links to all the stuff in the description or a pinned comment. Because it's Target exclusive, I don't know that I'm going to be able to find it, but I'm sure some Amazon third-party seller will have it up there. So just keep checking. In the future, it might be up there. Who knows? Either way, if you use any of my Amazon links, portion of that goes to help support the channel so that I can afford to buy stuff like this all the time because, honestly, it doesn't pay for itself. Hasbro doesn't send it to me. So your guys' feedback 
watching the ads, that kind of stuff, t-shirts, whatever, hats that I sell, that's always appreciated. It's a good way to help just kind of fuel the channel, keep new videos coming. So it's always appreciated when you guys use that stuff. That's it. If you guys haven't already done so, subscribe first off. Hit the little red button. It's down there. You know how it works. It's YouTube. It's not your first time. Hit the button. Do it. Subscribe. But to make sure you guys get notified the next time I drop a brand new video, you got to use the force on that little bell. That way you get notified every time I put out a brand new one. Now, I do want to feature you guys in my videos because I consider you guys my sad baby squad, just like the zero three 3 sad babies that approve most of these toys. See you guys, sad baby squad. So use hashtag sad baby squad or at me on Twitter and Instagram at Dano Flores. Send me clips of your collection, your toy dioramas, whatever. Little video. I want videos. Honestly, I want videos. I want funny video clips. Uh, but I want to put you guys in the video. Feature you sad baby squad members in my vids because I appreciate you. And I think you guys are as big a part of this as I am. So, yeah. Love you guys. That's it for now. Let me know what you think. Till next time, may the force have with you. And goodbye forever.